Today I want to talk about growing onions and what are the two important keys to growing those nice big onions. So an onion plant will grow just about anywhere. You can take an onion plant and throw it on bare dirt, not even cover it up, and it will eventually take root and start to grow. But how do we get those big softball size onions that we all want? So the first important key is time of planting. You want to plant those onions as soon as you can so you can get as much growth as possible out of the window for that particular onion variety. Onions have kind of two growing stages. You've got the vegetative stage or what I call the investment stage and then you've got the bulbing stage or what I call the payoff stage. So in that initial phase or that vegetative phase you want to make sure you get as much leaf growth on that onion as you can. Each one of the leaves on that onion plant is going to represent a ring on that onion bulb. So the more leaves you get, the bigger the bulb you're going to have. So planting those onions early is important to maximize that vegetative stage and get as many leaves as you can so that it'll pay off in the end. So for us in the south, the ideal onion planting time is late November, and that's when I planted these here behind me. So as soon as we can get plants from Dixondale, that's when we want to plant our onions. So here we grow two varieties of onions. We grow the Texas Legend and the Red Creole. Now in the past I've grown kind of equal amounts of both, but this year I'm growing a lot more of the Texas Legends and just one row of the Red Creole. Now I like the red onions, but they're a little more prone to bolt and they don't seem to store as well. So for the purposes of storage and having onions for a long time, we're growing more of the Texas Legends this year. Now to the second key for growing those big juicy onions, which is feeding. Onions are heavy feeders, which means they like plenty of water and plenty of fertilizer. So that's why I plant my onions on drip tape, so I can give them plenty of water and plenty of fertilizer. So before I planted these onions, I came in here with my drip tape layer and laid my drip tape on two foot row spacing. I like that two foot spacing because once those onions get larger, I can just make one pass between those double rows with my single wheel hoe and it makes it really easy to cultivate it and keep it clean. After I had my drip tape laid, then I planted my double rows of onions. I like using double rows because I can get two rows of onions per one row of drip tape. Really helps me maximize the space in my garden. Along the row, I like to plant my onions pretty close. I space these about four inches apart and they'll need some thinning if we want to get really big onions. And what we'll do is, once those onion bulbs get about the size of a quarter or size of a half dollar, we'll come in here and harvest every other onion along that row and use those as green onions. We'll leave the rest of them to form those real big bulbs that we want. So back to the feeding. We can feed these onions in two different ways. The first way is through injecting fertilizer in that drip irrigation system. So early on in the life of the onion, we'll inject our 20-20-20 through that drip irrigation system. Now onions, when they're young, need some phosphorus and potassium because that's going to encourage root development. As they get older, they just kind of need nitrogen. So that 20-20-20 helps early on by injecting that in there, getting some good root development, and also giving a little bit of nitrogen to kick start it. Now as those onions grow, we'll switch to a fertilizer that's just primary nitrogen, something like our Chilean nitrate. And we can inject that through the drip system as well, or we can also side dress with it if we want a little slow release action. For side dressing, I'll just take that Chilean nitrate and sprinkle it alongside that onion row there, and then I'll come behind it with my wheel hoe and the cultivator teeth and kind of incorporate that into the soil. And that gives it some nice slow release fertilizer for when we get a little rain. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's really important to maximize this vegetative or investment stage of the onion plant. So giving it plenty of water through that drip irrigation, also giving it plenty of fertilizer through the injection or through the side dressing is going to make sure we get as much vegetative growth as we can during that initial investment stage. Now when it comes time for that bulbing stage or that payoff stage as I like to call it, we're going to have plenty of rings there on that onion and plenty of water to make sure we get that nice big juicy onion that we want. So plant your onions early, feed your onions well, and you'll have a nice big crop when it's time to harvest. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.